Hello, this is Brenda from Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque, and today we're going to paint eyes, and it'll be on our piggy bank. He's just a nice sized piggy bank, and he has nice big eyes. We're going to use our Royal and Langnickel Royal Majestic 4595 50 um, liner, but if you were purchased our Silver Falcon 10 O Onyx 4585 liner, that would be even better. This is a beautiful brush for doing eyes. But because um, our brush kit and painting on live Thursdays uses the Royal Majestic um, 50 liner, we're going to use that. So I base coated his little face in white just because he's not done and we wanted to do the eye video for you guys, so that's where we're starting. So I'm going to just use some black acrylic stain. And I'm going to use my liner, and I'm going to put my liner in the paint, draw it towards me, and do a quarter, quarter inch turn to the right so I get a nice point on my brush. And I'm going to do that a few times to build up the paint up into the liner. And I'm going to do the whole eye in black. Actually, I'm only going to do ha like the, ha the bottom half for right now. So I start in the eye, and I work my brush to the outside where I want my line to be. And I just come down, and I'll have to stop right there. And I'm, you have to turn him. I also have my pig steady on the table, and I have my arm anchored onto my piggy bank. So now I'm going to come back to my black, lightly touch it so I can pick up where I left off, and then just keep coming. And again, we'll go into where we were, merge over to where you left off. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times to get it lined up just right. Okay, so we have the black in that eye. Now we'll come and do the black in this other eye. Again, I'm going to start in, in the eye and merge over to the outside of the eye. I have to not talk when I'm painting so that I can get a nice straight line. So you have to keep turning him. Now I want to make sure I don't get my hand, painting hand into that wet paint. I'm going to put my liner into that paint in the middle. And then just slowly draw it towards me again. So as I did that, I had my little finger and my fourth finger anchored onto the pig as well. And the pig is anchored onto the table, so I have a nice, nice straight line there. So I'm actually going to wash out my brush, just going back and forth gently in my water so I don't ruin it. And if you have the Herald's Easy Brush Cleaner, you could have that in the bottom of that, and I would clean that out real nice. I'm going to go on my paper, and again, do that turn, and drag it and get it nice and dry. Touch up with my finger. Now we're going to use a little bit of white. And I'm actually going to go into the water and get a drop of the water and put it into my white. I'm going to move it so I can make sure you can see it. Grab a little water, work it into that white so it's not real thick, so it'll um, flow real nice. And now I'm pulling my brush through that paint and doing my turn so I get a nice point on it. And I got it loaded up real well. And now I'm going to start, when I do the white part of the eye, I usually want like the bottom, about a quarter inch on the bottom, or the width of um, this brush, which is about a quarter inch. So I will start up above that and merge down to where I want it into the black, covering up some of that black because I want a thinner black line and bring it around to the other side. 
so it's about a quarter inch up. So that's what we're going to do. And I won't um, talk while I'm doing that because I need a steady hand. But I'm going to start above where I want to be and merge down to where I want it to be. So we're just going to start up higher and merge it down. I'm going to grab a little more paint and turn them. I'm going to come back further and then merge it back down again. I need a little more paint. There's not much in the tip. Again, I'm just going to merge it down. What I want, what I'm trying to do is make my black line equally, equal distance. So we're going to come to the other side, start up a little higher than where I want, actually want the white to be, and then merge down to get that black line about the width of the other black line. So again, I'm starting up in the white and merging down into the black. So I'm gonna grab a little more white and come up around this other side here. I'm starting in the white and I'm gonna merge down into the black. And I'm going to go up further than I would need to be. So now the very center bottom of his eye is thinner than this part over here and it's also thinner than this eye. So I'm going to thin these out to match the bottom of that because I do like a thinner black line than what I have. So I'm just going to start again up in the white and merge down into the black and just get a little bit thinner black line. And that's much better. And I'm really only concerned with the bottom like quarter inch. This up here doesn't matter. We'll be covering that up with the black. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to brush that out. And now we have to go back over to the other one and thin that out so it's more like this one. So I will start up in, in the black and merge down. Grab a little white. brush that white out because I don't want it real rough. Grab some white, start in the white and merge to the black. And there we go. Now this side's a little thinner than over here so we got to go back and thin that other one a little bit more. Okay, so they're pretty comparable now when I look at them. I can see the black through the white over here, so I'm just going to bring that up again one more time to cover that up.
So there we go. We have the little white put in his eye. I'm going to wash out my brush. And I'm just dragging it on my paper towel. I want it nice and clean. And I'm going to grab some Duncan OS 457 medium blue. And you could use other colors, um, blue, yellow, it all depends what you want. And again, I'm going to dip my brush in the paint, in the water, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to get a little bit of water and work it into my blue. I want it a little bit, just a little bit thinner than what it comes out of the bottle. Not as thin as ink, but a little bit thinner. It'll just flow better that way. So I'm turning, dragging my brush through the paint and turning it a quarter turn between my thumb and index finger. And that puts a nice point on the tip of your brush. So now we're going to do the blue. So we want to leave about a quarter inch or less of white at, at the main part of the bottom. And then you want to gradually decrease it to like a pie shape to each corner or like a triangle. So you want it to come from thin to wider and then back to thin. So again, we're going to start in the eye in the white and merge towards the black and the white to get the, the color in at the base of the eyeball. I gotta give him a turn. Let me just start back up there again. And where I'm bringing it, it to the black, I want it about the width of what the white where the white was. So I want this black the width of that. And I got it just a little bit narrower, so I'll probably have to touch that up a little bit. So I'm br just brushing out my blue. And it doesn't matter that it's all kitty wampus in here because we'll cover that up with the black. So I'm grabbing some blue. So now this, I want this eye to match that eye, so we're, we're going to so I only probably have about an eighth of an inch here instead of the quarter inch, but that's okay as long as both eyes have the same distance. You don't want one having a quarter inch and one having an eighth. So we're going to match the white of this eye to the white of that eye. So I'll start in, in the white and merge to the black. Now I will turn him, and I like to pull the brush towards me, so I will look at this opposite side and try to match that up with this side. But again, I will start in, in the white of the eye and take it to the black. And I will brush this out. And then we'll look at it, and it looks like the blue on this eye needs to come over a little bit further. So I'll come into my eye and bring it over to the black. And that just filled that in a little bit better right there. And then I look to see if, if the inside, the white and the blue are at the same point as the white and the blue on this one, and that looks pretty good. Then I look at the outside, and I have a... The white is a little higher on this side than on this side, so I'm going to bring this side down just a little bit more. Just a little bit. And maybe just a tad more. So I just start in the blue and merge back to the black and bring that down just a little bit. Probably enough right there. 
So then I look at them again to make sure they look pretty much the same. Again, about the same height here is here, and then the same height here is there with the white and the blue mix. So now I'm going to wash up my brush again. And now I'm going to switch back to the black, drag my brush through the black, doing that quarter inch turn to load it up. And now we're going to add our black. And depending upon how much blue you want showing is how much um, you leave. And I will start in my white and I will drag it into the blue and leave oh, between an eighth and a quarter inch. Brush that out so it don't get rough. And grab a little black, go to the other side, start in the white, merge to your blue. This one is a little off. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a little off, so I'm going to just come back and do it again. My blacks didn't match up with each other. Need a little bit of paint, and we'll do it again. And there we go, we got them matched up. So there's a little divot right there, so I would like to get rid of that. So I'm going to start in my black and merge down to it and hopefully just get rid of that. And you just go nice and slow until you get it. Brush that out, and now we'll go back and try to match this eye to that one. So again, we want our black to start at the same area of the blue on this side and in the center. So I'm starting in the black and merging down to the blue. We'll go to the other side and meet them up. So I'm looking at this side and I'm going across, so it's about right there. Need more paint. Brush that out, and then we'll take a look at them. So this side's a little bit wider than this side. This side's got a little bit of blue in the black, so I'm going to touch that up. Now that's fixed. And now we'll bring this down just a little bit on the side. And again, you just start up in the black and merge down to your blue. And we got to turn him. And a little more. And then you look at him again. Got a little divot right there, so I'm going to bring it the other way and see if I can straighten that out. And I'll start in the black and merge towards it. So that's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Now I'll look at them again. The blue and the black meet about the same height. 
on the inside of both and on the outside of both so that I'm good with that. So now we have to do the top part. And now I will start with my loaded brush, start in the black, merge towards the um, outer edges of black and then bring it all the way around. I'll go as far as I can with the brush and then reload it. So you, you can do this with eyes of any size. I just wanted to use the piggy bank so that it was the eyes were large enough that you could see them um, in the video. But you can just make them smaller for smaller things. It's the, the same process, just a smaller si size. So now we'll fill this black in. Gives his little eyes all outlined. And you'd want to use the same uh, nice liner brush like this for the smaller eyes too. Now we'll go to our other eye. Load up the brush, start in the black and merge towards it and then do get that nice outline. Turn him and get the rest of it. Now you could have also painted them just solid black and added a white dot up in one of the corners, the left or the right of each eye, and that would have worked also. We will do more eye videos, but this is our first one just to get everyone started. So I met that black line up with the other black line, and I'm just going to do it one more time to straighten it out a little more. And the same with my top, I'm going to bring it, because there's a little divot right there. And we want it nice and round. So now we'll brush that in. But you can use this same eye on most eyes for any anything. It's a pretty good basic eye. You just make it smaller for a smaller eye. So we have that all brushed in and now I'll take a look at them to make sure they look fairly equal. So this one looks a little wider across the top so I'm going to bring this one up just a little bit more or over a little bit more. And then you want to match those up so you don't have that little divot like I have right there. And there we go. We got to look at them again. And they look pretty equal. I see a little divot over here that I want to fix and a little one over here. So we'll get a little black. We'll come back to my black line and then draw it towards me to get rid of this where it goes in right there. Pretty good. Now it goes in towards the eye a little bit right there, so we're going to straighten that out. We'll start in the black and merge over towards it. And that fixed that. So we have our eye nice and black, and then you want to look at it to make sure your looks the way you want it. So I'm going to brush out my, clean out my brush again. I'm going to add another drop of water to my white. I want the white about as thin as ink this time because we're going to put our highlights in our eye. And I'm going to draw it through the water. I want it loaded up but not too full. I'm turning it with my thumb and index finger to get a nice point on it. So now we're going to put a, a nice big C highlight and you want to put it on the left side of both eyes 
or the right side of both eyes. You don't want one on the left and one on the right because then they're going to look cross-eyed. So I tend to go on the right side. So I have my brush loaded up good. I'm going to go at about 1 o'clock. You don't want to go all the way up to 12 because that's right at the center. But if you want to go at one from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, touch your brush down. And that will be your widest point. And then you're going to draw down in a backward circle. And then lift as you're pulling down so your line gets thinner. So we're going to actually start on this side first because then I can move over this way and I won't be getting my wet paint or my hand in wet paint. So we'll start on this side at about 1 o'clock. And then draw down. And then I get a little, little bit of white and do the same thing on this other eye. Now I wouldn't want to put it on this side because then that's going to make him look cross-eyed. So if this one is on the right side, we're going to put this one on the right side. So I'm going to touch my brush again at about 1 o'clock. And then draw it down and lift up to get narrower at the bottom. So that's about what I want, but you can see this one is a little bit smaller at the top, so we're going to have to go back and make it a little bit bigger at the top. So I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. Now it matches the other one more. So I'm going to grab just a little bit of paint in my brush. And I like to do an X on the bottom left hand corner of each eye. And, and with two thirds of it in the black and one third of it in the white. And in the bottom left corner. And it's just a nice little X. You, go, you very lightly touch so you have a very light line. And with the watered down ink like white it, it does a nice little line and you put a little curve to it so that your eyeball looks like it's round and not flat now we'll do that in the other eye as well we'll start in the black do a nice little x again in the left corner about two-thirds in the black and one-third down in the white in the blue And that one didn't make it, so I need a little more paint. I'll just try to line right back up on there and bring it back into the blue. And again, have an arc, arc to your X so it looks like it's rounded. And I'm in the blue. And then we're going to go into the thicker part of our paint and get a nice um, dot at the very end. And we will put a dot at the top of the first line that we did. I'll make sure you can see it. And you just hold your brush straight up and down to the top of your line and then touch it so you have a nice big dot. And then get that again on the brush and do it on the other eye at the same spot. And then I usually also put one on one of these X's and I'll determine if one of my X's has an error in it. For example, this one has a little bit of extra paint because I had to retouch it. So it'll go at, at that area and it'll actually kind of hide that area. And that dot will be smaller than the other dot. You just want a very little dot there. And then we'll come on the other X and do it on the same point of that X so they match. And that one is a little bit heavier, so now i got to come back and make this one heavier. So that's pretty good. It's a little heavier than I would have liked it to be, but not bad. So now I'm looking at it, and I see that my white isn't real smooth right here, so I'm actually going to grab a little black. And I'm going to start into the black and nudge towards it and, and get rid of that little two little jags that are on there. I don't like that. And 
and then you can narrow out your comma just like that and now he's got nice little eyes so that's really all there is to doing the eyes and if you needed to you could come back and touch up your black some more or you could um, grab some white and come along here and you could fix you could touch up this outside too if you wanted a little bit straighter like that could be a little bit straighter here so you can touch up from the outside as well just a tad too much and sometimes it's better to just leave it alone and not even mess with it if it looks okay 